Hey folks, Kevin here. Well, it's April 15th, 2022, and today I thought I'd share with you my thoughts and my experiences with uh, GoPro and their uh, subscription services. Uh, one of my passions is photography. I love nature, uh, wildlife photography, landscape photography as well, and shooting videos uh, as well. I do enjoy uploading videos of some of the scenic shots around uh, our property and all, and I hope to do more of that in the future as time goes on. Um, I'm also the type of person that really doesn't subscribe to maintenance agreements or subscription services, those sorts of things as a general rule. Uh, you know, there's mathematicians, statisticians that can analyze when uh, products will need repair uh, or replacement parts and that sort of thing and and they usually make their service agreements so it's just short of that period of time when the product that you uh, purchase needs to need service and all so uh, so that's just a couple of basic things about me I'm not in any way sponsored by GoPro I, I really enjoy their products I, I there's other camera companies that I enjoy uh, uh, their products as well but today what I thought I'd do is tell you some of my experiences with the GoPro cameras and their subscription services. Um, so the first uh, GoPro camera I got was the uh, the Hero 3 Plus and uh, this camera uh, met some of my needs. Uh, it was uh, a pretty good uh, photog, uh, good at taking photographs. I could do my time lapse videos. I could mount this on a pole, and if I could hold the pole steady, I could get some uh, bird's eye view of the property. And this is back in 2013, I think, right around then. And uh, and I really thought that this was that GoPro had a, a bright future at that point uh, because of the uh, their miniaturization and, and their commitment to action cameras. Um, this was a little tough for me to use because I used it infrequently being so busy as I was uh, but uh, you know it worked out really well for time lapses and for pole mounts and all. So that was my first camera and all. Then a year later or two years later, I ended up uh, purchasing the GoPro Karma Bundle, which is the uh, GoPro uh, drone, uh, the Karma, uh, with the grip and a gimbal. Uh, and this came with the Hero 5. And the Hero 5 was absolutely uh, a big step up from the Hero 3 Plus. Uh, I, I thought it was fantastic and with having it in the grip or on the drone with the gimbal on it, it really gave me some really good shots and, and I fell in love with this drone. Now I've had two drones before this. I've had DJI products, but their customer service was horrendous. Their repair service was horrendous. Um, so I ended up being very disappointed when GoPro discontinued their, their drone uh, service and all. But this grip and the, and the drone with the gimbal, absolutely fantastic. And that Hero 5 was, I, I, I thought it was great. Then uh, the next year I uh, bought a GoPro Hero 6. I had issues with it right off the bat. Uh, I uh, traded it, well, I, I exchanged it for a replacement one. It still was real glitchy as well. I contacted uh, GoPro and uh, and I didn't have a subscription at all at that time with uh, with a Hero 6 and uh, and they gave me a discounted price on the GoPro Hero 7. They didn't take back the Hero 6 but they gave me a discounted price on the Hero 7. I contacted Amazon where I bought my Hero 6 from and they gave me a reduced uh, refund uh, for it. So actually when I bought the Hero 6 the amount of money that I ended up getting refunded paid for the Hero 7. And the Hero 7 uh, has a hyper smooth, so it's a, um, you know, internal stabilization, so, so you no longer needed a gimbal. Was it perfect? No, but with the rear screen, touch screen and all with it uh, and all, I fell in love with, so now I have three of these uh, Hero 7s, Hero 7 Blacks, and they are absolutely fantastic. 
do I have to, um, I'd say, I've learned over the time that uh, to go ahead and do a, a formatting of the SD cards, it's really important to have the appropriate uh, SD cards, uh, micro SD cards for all of these action cameras. Uh, you'll have le less glitches and have I, have I had to do a factory reset every couple of years or whatever or once a year Yes, I have and I just do it routinely now, but these hero sevens have been absolutely fantastic and all and since I was so happy with the hero sevens I didn't upgrade to the hero 8 or to the hero 9 and uh, Since Thea retired my wife retired uh, at the end of this past year and she's going to be around more uh, I, what we did was we tried her with, with, gave her the experience of using like my DJI Osmo and my DJI uh, Osmo Pocket to see how comfortable she would be because she's she's not as geeky as me or uh, wanting to operate a camera. She just wants to take the the uh, videos and all, and um, so. I ended up buying a GoPro Hero 10 and I did some more research and I and I looked and I saw that some YouTubers were talking about buying the Hero 10 and um, and, and getting a reduced price on the camera while buying a subscription that's $50 a year. And I'm always leery of these subscription services and all so I went through and I researched it and then I looked at their frequently asked questions on their uh, and their uh, Go, GoPro uh, subscription camera replacement frequently asked questions web page and I'll try to stream that by right now uh, and that all seemed geez it actually seemed too good to be true but for a reduced price I wasn't paying full price for the uh, Hero 10 and I was getting a subscription for a year where I could replace not just the Hero 10 but any of these other cameras that that had issues and all so I went ahead and bought the Hero 10 and uh, so my Hero 10 right now, oh, my Hero 10 right now is in the new Volta. And uh, my the Hero 10, I bought this as a sole camera first with the subscription. And it's absolutely game changing. The the new Hyper Smooth for stabilization is is fantastic. Um, I just think it's it's absolutely a wonderful camera, and I haven't had any glitches with it at all. And I've I've been shooting with it for uh, probably a month now, and uh, and I and what I ended up doing was I purchased the uh, what's called the Creator Edition, which looks very similar to this, which is the Volta handle, the uh, Hero 10, the camera mod, and it actually has a light source on the top. And Thea actually likes this a lot. One of the things I really like about the Volta is it has basically three times the battery that's in the camera. You don't have to have a battery in the camera to operate it because of the batteries in the in the grip work just fine. And you have the controls and there's enough people who have made videos about this. This is really about my subscription service experiences. So Thea really likes her uh, Creator Edition Hero 10 and all. And I really thought, geez, this is not... Not necessarily in the same uh, category as the gimbal for my Hero 7s and Hero 5 and all, but uh, this would actually fill in for a lot of the things that I that I do. So uh, one of the videos I shot probably in the last th four or five weeks was going down to the ponds and I had my Hero 10 strapped to my chest or with a magnetic mount and I had my uh, my GoPro uh, Hero 5 in the gimbal with the grip and I was going down and back and, and filming and the Hero 5 I could see the the video quality when I compared it to my Hero 10 it looked like it was really decreasing over time so I pulled up older videos and the image quality was reducing so I called up the GoPro uh, customer service and I spoke with a lovely young woman and uh, and I said, geez, I'd like to get the replacement. And according to the contract, I pay $69 for a trade-in value for my Hero 5 for the uh, for a replacement, a new Hero 5. And she said, geez, is that okay with you? And I said, yes. And she says, let me check and see the availability. So then she came back online a few minutes later and said, sorry, we don't have any more of the Hero 5s in there. But what we'd like to do is waive the $69, $69 fee. Now, again, I only paid $49.99, I think it was, for the service 
um, contract for a year and and you get to replace two cameras in a year's subscription um, and uh, she said well we're gonna waive the sixty nine dollars and we're gonna upgrade you to a hero eight so I said wow that's fantastic and we'll send you a battery for the hero eight and I thought okay I think the eight batteries work with my seven so I could use my seven batteries and use those interchangeable and like I say I really love my hero sevens so uh, the day before yesterday I got the package in the mail and uh, and when I opened it up it's actually a hero nine uh, which is basically the technology the, the the version is just one year older than the hero ten so this is a hero nine um, I put the Volta um, uh, door on it, and I also had purchased their uh, their uh, I'm going to call it extended range batteries for the uh, Hero Nine and Hero Ten. So I got this, and this is an absolutely fantastic camera. And so I basically got a new camera that's worth. I don't know over four hundred dollars, maybe three hundred fifty dollars if you if if you're searching around or special or whatever, uh, for the subscription fee of of less than fifty dollars for the for the annual subscription, and uh, I got a reduced price on the original Hero Ten. The other thing that that's really great about the subscription service is I, I I knew that you get reduced prices on the mods. Now I'll say this: I think that the the mods uh, are a bit overpriced compared to what you can buy on Amazon or B and H or any other uh, location. But when you add the discounted rate for having the subscription, this forty-nine dollar or fifty dollar a year subscription, that brings down the price could pr could bring down the price of the mods by twenty-five percent. So I ended up buying the second mod for the Hero Ten and Nine, and the 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 uh, the Volta grip, which is a battery charge and controllable, I bought those at reduced prices. So I said, man, this subscription really seems fantastic. One of the things I can't remember in this video if I mentioned this yet, but with my uh, GoPro Karma that I bought, you know, like five years ago, maybe close to six years ago, and my grip, which had the Hero 5, which was now replaced with the Hero 9, uh, the gimbal. Uh, when I was shooting about a year and a half ago, every once in a while with the uh, with the Karma would start to act a little bit erratic. It would shake back and forth. So I put the, the gimbal, because it exchanges between the, car, the, the drone and the grip, I put it in here, did a factory reset, did a calibration and all, and it would work, but every once in a while it would do that that shaking and all. And I really like my my Karma. It's absolutely a fantastic drone. And the grip with the gimbal is fantastic. So I called them up and I could see that they could replace the grip and could replace the drone. I think the drone was $129 uh, replacement trade-in fee and the grip was maybe $60 I can, or $70. I can't remember right now. So I called them up and I said, you know what, this gimbal's, the Karm is still good, the grip is still good. Uh, I just need the gimbal. So I called them up and it may have been the same woman who spoke with me. Um, she took my information, I explained what was going on, told her what I had done and all. And they really have a no questions asked policy, but I just feel I want to explain everything. Uh, so I gave them the information on the gimbal and uh, and all well said and, and done at this point is I've shipped back the gimbal. They're not charging me anything to replace the gimbal. They're going to be sending one. Now, it'll probably be a week before I get that, but I'll have my my Karma back in action, my Grip back in action, and I can use my Hero 7s in the gimbal at this point. So, you know, one of these days I'm going to create a web page that's just for the items that I recommend. Uh, if you're just buying action cameras, or there's a whole bunch of different companies out there, and it really depends on what your interests are, what your knowledge base is. So we have me, who's somebody who's who's into photography and into uh, recording videos, and want to show some of the the things that are going on here on the property. And then we have my wife Thea, who's really novice. She just wants to grab it and go, and be able to set it down, have it run for a while, and all, and get used to using these systems. 
while this having this subscription service I think is really valuable it brings down what I consider the accessories to be overpriced for for a GoPro it brings them into an appropriate price range uh, where I feel more comfortable investing more in it and with the subscription service if something happens with one of these sevens uh, or what or the 10 you know it's gonna cost me a few bucks to get a, a trade-in value and get the camera replaced even if I drop it in the pond or damage it through my own fault uh, so that's pretty darn good so I'm pretty excited about sharing this with you I'm not affiliated with GoPro in any way I think their cameras are awesome I think that their subscription service is is stellar and I think their customer service representatives are fantastic uh, so they've got uh, a family now that's uh, gonna be loyal customers to the GoPro brand uh, as long as they keep making products like they are and have a service agreement that's 50 bucks a year or, or less that I can get these things replaced if there's an issue if I get a, a dud like the Hero 6 that I got before no questions asked I can get it replaced um, so that worked out very very well for me so without this video getting any longer I just wanted to share my experiences with GoPro action cameras their products and their stellar uh, subscription service and customer service so if you found this video of value please give us a thumbs up share it with your friends and by all means folks stay safe take good care of yourself and get out there and take some good photos share your experiences with others with social media nowadays Take care now. Bye-bye.